Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add advanced filter in our Looker dashboard and reflect data based on a user selection using this advanced filter in the dashboard. So this advanced filter helps you or your user to select the filtration of a data and display your dashboard based on that selection of values purely based on your requirement. It lets you filter your data by categorical dimension as well as numerical parameters and it helps to select multiple values from the parameters. Now one of the major points that needed to be noted over here is that the advanced filter can take a categorical parameter as well as numerical parameter from the data source. So let's go and create an advanced filter from scratch. So in order to create this advanced filter what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to click on edit button and then I'm going to delete this advanced filter so that I can show you how you can create an advanced filter in your dashboard. So first of all you need to go to your toolbar and then click on add a control then select advanced filter over here. Once you select that advanced filter then you can add that advanced filter on your dashboard page or your report page anywhere. So let's add that over here. And by default, this advanced filter will take a categorical variable from your data source. You can also select a numerical variable for your advanced filter. Once you have added this advanced filter, it allows you to filter data using search operations. For example, let's go and see all of these search operations. The first search operation is equals. So this equal is a default and the value exactly matches the search term will only be reflected on your dashboard. But you have to make sure that whatever value that you are putting over here using these equals in the search type should be equivalent to the case in which the values are present in the categorical data. In simpler words, this equals is a case sensitive. So the next option that we have over here is contains. So this contains will use the value contains the search term. For example, here you can see that we have Armenia and Belgium, right? Or let's take an example of India. So whatever country name contains I N D or let's take N D only. So whatever the country name contains N D, show me the result or reflect the data for all of those country that name contains ND. So once you have added ND over here as a filtration parameter, you can see that you have four countries over here in this chart as well as in this graph. So let's go to the next option that we have is starts with. So the value begins with any of the character which you will put over here will be the search term. For example, if I want all the countries that starts with I and N, and click anywhere on my dashboard then you can see over here that these are the two countries which starts with IN. The next option that we have is regex and the value matches the regular expression will appear on the dashboard. The last option that we have over here is IN. With this option the value matches one or more of the search term and each search terms should be separated by commas. For example, if you want India and Bahrain, then we have to put both of these country names separated by comma and then this dashboard or your data or any of your graph and chart will reflect the data only for these two countries. Now if we talk about the setup section of this advanced filter, the first thing that we see over here is the data source. So it provides the dimension and the parameters you can use in the control function. So suppose all of your charts and graphs are created from a particular data source. In my example, I have created all of these charts and graphs using GDS44. Then I should ideally use this GDS44 also as a data source for this advanced filtration. Now the next option that we have is the control field. It is the dimension to filter by or the parameter whose value is set by this control. So we can set any of the parameter either the numerical parameter or the categorical parameter in the control field. So for our example we had selected country name but we can also select the number of stocks 
in our control field. So this is the field which helps you to filter out your data in the dashboard. So we have already discussed about the search type. Now if you want to add a default value in your search type, for example I have added India and Bahrain, then whenever a user will open this dashboard, then the dashboard will always reflect the data on graph and chart for these two countries and in order to review the data for all of the other countries or all countries he or she has to remove these two country as a filtration value and enter a particular country if he just want to see that a specific country data now before we go ahead let's remove this India and Bahrain as a default value from our advanced filter now moving ahead we have the style section of this advanced filter within this style section we have this first control which is drop down now if you select this drop down it displays the control in a drop down box over here rest all of the functionality or you can see that all of the search type and everything remains same only the display of this advanced filter has changed from fixed size to drop down now if you do not want your advanced filter in the drop down display you can select fixed size also the next option that we have is input box auto width when it is checked the entry fields width automatically size to fit the available space on your screen and to set the entry fields width manually you have to uncheck this option and enter the desired width in the characters so if I uncheck this then you can see that I have this value over here and I have to manually entry the fields width but if your users are using different type of screen such as laptop and desktop then you should always select this option because based on their screen size the width will automatically size it and fit to the available space now the next option that we have is the level position so it helps you to set the appearance of the control label if you want the control label on top then you can select this top option if you want your label options to be on left you can select left similarly if you do not want your label then you can select this hidden option and the last option that we have is left legacy then the label will go to the top left side of this filter under this style section the next option that we have is text if you want to change the font color of the text you can select it from here and if you want to change the size you can select from here so let's select 12 pixel only or 14 pixel now if you want to change the font family of label you can select from here under this label section and if you want to change the background and the border of this advanced filter you can select it from here so let's select the background as black okay and font color or text color as white right then this border radius as 4 this is the option for opacity it helps you to set the opacity of the advanced filter so let's select it to 70 percent then the next option that we have over here is the border color if you want to change the border color you can select the color from here so let's select this red and the border weight as 4 and the border style as dotted now if I click to view then I can see that all of the changes that I have performed for the background and borders is reflecting over here so this is how basically you can add and work with advanced filter in Google Data Studio or Looker happy learning and see you in the next video